The Nueces County Water Control and Improvement District number three called a meeting tonight discussing their water rights and the city of Corpus Christi's concerns with them. The public showed up to comment on potential plans to build an ammonia plant in the Robstown and Cal Allen area. Both citizens and local elected officials voiced their concerns to the water district. The district held a meeting to discuss obtaining legal counsel about their water rights related to the potential project. Brandon Schaff joins us in studio with more on what came out of tonight's meeting. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Leslie and Rudy. While more than a dozen people spoke during the public comment portion of this meeting, they asked for more transparency about the plans to potentially build an Oasis Green ammonia plant and its effect on their communities. While well, the Water District responded to comparisons to similar projects in the region, saying that it must follow Texas's rules. Somebody mentioned Ingleside turning down a company. We're not the city. We are um, uh, a water district that is governed by the state, and we've got to follow those rules. Nueces County WCID number three president Ronnie Salinas told the crowd that he also lives near where the proposed ammonia plant would be built and feels the sentiments of the community. He explained that there are only certain reasons why the water district can refuse water and they are within their water rights regarding the project. It boils down to about 10.5 million gallons. Um, so we would definitely be within, within those rights and within those standards. Uh, with, with the amount of water that is being requested. City of Corpus Christi officials also attended Tuesday's meeting. Ryan Skorbachek said that the meeting was supported and encouraged since the city wants the water district to better understand their water right, the city's own water right on the Nueces River system and how those two water rights interact. In particular on the city of Corpus Christi as the regional water provider to seven counties, understanding how this potential project impacts ratepayers across that region. Skorbachek said that the potential ammonia plant affects the entire region both economically and regarding natural resources. He added that since Corpus Christi has been in stage one drought restrictions for more than 600 days and could soon move to stage two, that's why the city is concerned about what happens with the project. Our drought restrictions are driven by the combined lake levels on the Nueces River system. And so anything that interacts with that river system is of critical importance that the city of Corpus Christi as a regional water provider understand. And Skorbachek says that it was important for the Water District to update the public today and it needs to happen more frequently, also adding that that includes communicating with local governments in the region so everyone can understand the effects of the potential ammonia plant. Leslie, Rudy.